Hi, this is Jim Moyna, and I'm here to tell you about Active Target by Lowrance and how it can make you a better weed line fisherman. Where I'm from in Minnesota, we have a lot of uh, deep weed lines that the fish set up on during the summer, so it's really important to uh, know how to catch them off these weed lines. And with this uh, Active Target, which is forward-looking sonar, it helps you um, better target your casts. And right now on the screen, you can see um, the boat is being held in roughly about 18 foot of water. And right here is where the weed line starts, over at about 12. And that would be about 30 feet out, as you can see there. And then it continues to run shallower and the weeds get higher and higher. So what that tells you as a fisherman, obviously, is if the fish are on the very edge of the weeds, well, you want to cast 30 feet away. If the fish are up shallower, up further in the weeds, well, then you want to cast further up into the weeds. This is on a 70, 80 foot scale, by the way. Um, also, what it does is it helps you... Okay, I'm running the trolling more now. See, as I rotate this, it helps you find those little dips and uh, changes in, in the weed line itself. So I'm just kind of rotating. As you can see, I'm rotating this back and forth. Um, so as you are like just moving down the weed line, let's say you're going down a straight weed line and uh, you want to hold your boat off the weeds and throw it up onto the weeds. Um, it just helps you better direct your cast because um, wow, those fish right there, those might be fish right there in the weeds. It's hard to pick out the fish in the weeds sometimes, but those were some fish sitting up higher and just moved down. Uh, and just what, what I've learned with fish in the weeds is it's hard to pick them out of the weeds, especially if they're really heavy. But when they get on the outer perimeter, sometimes you can pick them out well, like what we just saw. And, uh, and it is overcast today, so the fish are a little looser on these weeds, more apt to... Uh, be setting up, suspended up in them a little bit. And, and those may not even been bass. Those could have very well been crappies, sunfish. I've had this for a couple months. Still trying to get a handle on the differences in fish species and that sort of thing. But anyways, back to my original subject. Um, as, you're, as you're like going down the weed line, just moving your boat, casting, um, it, it allows you to, let's say you're throwing a crankbait, well, a deep diving crankbait. Well, you don't want to be throwing your deep diving crankbait up in this zone because it's going to bog down the weeds really quick so by showing you the weed line and kind of how it fades out you know as you turn your trolling motor i'm turning my trolling motor right now it shows you where the weed line ends as you're heading in the direction you're going so you can kind of just as you're going along you can just kind of move your trolling motor back and forth like this and, and get an idea where that edge sits so you can target your next cast, whether it's a, whether you're targeting this zone out here, which is kind of the edge and it's really sparse weeds, or are you targeting fish that it might be more up in the thicker stuff? Um, it just gives you that, uh, just makes you a little more efficient in targeting your casts. And even though you may not be seeing the fish, because a lot of times out here they'll be sitting right on the bottom, and it's really hard to pick them out of the bottom. Or it'll be t t uh, tucked up on weeds so heavy you won't be able to see them inside the weeds. But it does help you target and target the cast and give you a more efficient cast. And the more efficient you are, obviously, the more fish you will catch. And that's about all I got to say about that one today. So um, it is a great tool, Lawrence Active Target, for targeting your cast.